Good morning and welcome to beginning the day with God on Friday the 7th of July. We opened today's worship with John Rutter's For the Beauty of the Earth. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all, to you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. We come now to this morning's reading, and we continue our journey through the book of the prophet Nehemiah. Today, verses from chapter 19. But you are a God ready to forgive, gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and you did not forsake them. Even when they had cast an image of a calf for themselves and said, This is your God who brought you up out of Egypt and had committed great blasphemies, you, in your great mercies, did not forsake them in the wilderness. The pillar of cloud that led them in the way did not leave them by day, nor the pillar of fire by night that you gave them light on the way by which they should go. You gave your good spirit to instruct them, and did not withhold your manner from their mouths, and gave them water for their thirst. For forty years you sustained them in the wilderness, so that they lacked nothing. Their clothes did not wear out, and their feet did not swell. And you gave them kingdoms and peoples, and allotted to them every corner. So they took possession of the land of King Shion of Heshbon, and the land of King Og of Bashan. You multiplied their descendants like the stars of heaven and brought them into the land that you had told their ancestors to enter and possess. Thanks be to God. Now our reflection on those verses from chapter 9 of the book of the prophet Nehemiah. Ezra's long prayer is recited only on behalf of those of Israelite descent, who at this point separate themselves from all foreigners, because their history is different from that of others. The prayer recalls the formative story of Israel's deliverance, the giving of the law, the wandering in the wilderness, the repeated impulses to return to slavery. The constant and unchanging theme is that of God's loving guidance for his people. There is necessarily rep repetition in all this, for example, the pillars of cloud by day and fire by night appear both before and after the encounter with God at Sinai. What cannot be repeated, though, is the heart of that encounter, the giving of the law through Moses. So in order to keep that gift fresh for the people after Sinai, Ezra needs some extended divine provision. He speaks of this as God's good spirit. Later in the prayer, we learn that the same spirit speaks warning through the prophets. Christians sometimes speak as if the gift of the Spirit in the Old Testament is only an occasional and extraordinary occurrence, dispensed through particular individuals for limited periods of time. 
There are examples of such phenomena, but this prayer speaks of a continuing gift of guidance and encouragement from God to his people. The God who in Jesus Christ walks with his people and anoints them with the blessings of the Holy Spirit. He is the same God who travelled with Israel through the years of wilderness and restoration and shared with them the gift of his good spirit. Amen. We come now to our prayers. This morning we are asked to pray for the Diocese of Umzi Mvuabu of the Anglican Church of Southern Africa. For our Christian brothers and sisters in that part of the world. And we pray too for the congregation of St. Michael and all angels of our group of churches. We pray that God will give us the gift of his good spirit to enliven our faith and deepen our faithfulness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God, kindle within our hearts today a flame of love for our neighbours, for our foes, for our friends, for our people, for the brave, for the cowardly, for the thoughtless ones. O Son of Mary, in all that we love, may we serve you from the lowliest thing that lives to the name that is highest of all. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace and serve the Lord. We will seek peace and pursue it. Glory be to God who made us, and to Christ who saved us, and to the Holy Spirit who keeps us in faith, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. <laughs> 